Look at our weather forecast as we go into the weekend. Kelly, what's up? Well, we'll see some nice weather this weekend, but first a little bit of rain to get through. Yesterday, though, polished up to be quite a nice day. We saw an afternoon full of sunshine, and Jose caught this lovely shot in his neighborhood here of some very colorful trees. So right now is a good period to head outside and take a look at all the colors around us. Our trees are starting to bloom here. A lot of reds and oranges out. We'll get a few more weeks of this weather before some storm system comes in and blows off all the leaves. So try and get outside this weekend take a peek at some of those uh, trees here. We've also been hinting at our winter to come and an event this weekend on Saturday morning is the annual winter weather conference that will go into detail of what we can expect in terms of snowfall, maybe in Portland. Last year I presented at this. I'm not doing so this year, but it will still be uh, presented online on Zoom by the American Meteorological Society. They do it every single year, so it's a good thing to tune into if you're interested into uh, this winter and what we could expect. You can find Find that link on the Oregon AMS Facebook page. It's free and it's hosted by our uh, Coin 6 meteorologist Steve Pierce. So that's tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And if you also want to know and read about it, I'll be coming out with my own outlook into what we can expect uh, this winter. That'll come out at coin.com next week. So stay tuned to that. I'll share that uh, when it does release here. But as we start, chilly temperatures, low 30s right now in Hillsborough and out towards Tigard. We are seeing very cold temperatures, mainly on the west sides again of the Portland metro area. Beaverton sitting at 35 degrees. 36 right now in Portland. Vancouver also in the mid 30s. So chilly here. You may want that extra layer out the door. We are dry for now, but expecting some showers to uh, work into the valley by the time we hit the afternoon. So here's our day planner. A dry start, increasing clouds and still staying pretty chilly throughout the morning time. By about lunchtime and on, we increase our threat for some light scattered showers through the afternoon. We do dry up as we head into Saturday, so this system on the way in here will be a quick one that just brings a touch of some damp conditions here to the valley. There you can see it now starting to spread inland. Lots of showers now out towards areas of southwestern Washington. Same for the Washington coast and up north here. There's that weather system. It's coming in from the northwest. So showers will start to spread here likely around lunchtime and beyond. Here's our future cast that times that out. Increasing clouds and there's that leading edge of the front here bringing in in that uh, rain. The coast expecting a bit more heavy showers here. Also towards the foothills of the coast range. Same goes for the Cascades and especially out towards areas of Washington. But Portland and the valley gets a bit of a rain shadow. So staying a little more dry. I'm not expecting a big washout. Just a passing shower here and there today. Some damp conditions at times throughout our afternoon and evening. We dry out here quickly into our Saturday afternoon. We'll start to see a few snow showers out towards Mount Hood, but overall this system is not packing too much of a punch and we're not expecting too much snow even out towards Mount Hood. Take a look the summit maybe getting one to three inches. So a lot of the snowfall with the system and that moisture will stay up in Washington where the Washington Cascades are still expecting uh, quite a bit of significant significant snowfall for Mount Hood further into Mount Bachelor not expecting much of this system. So winds will also pick up too by tonight as that system rolls in winds from the southwest picking up here in Portland, maybe gust around 25 miles per hour this late evening. As we head into our Saturday morning, our winds flip here. Very cold air on the east side will start to filter into Portland where we could see some gusts through Saturday afternoon and also Sunday around 25 to 30 miles per hour. So a breezy, chilly weekend ahead, but dry and sunny. So uh, still nice out there, but a little cool today. Though showers a bit breezy by tonight. Here's our seven day forecast. We dry up quickly, but cool down into our weekend. Notice those overnight lows into Sunday morning and Monday close to freezing and below, but we do look dry heading into next week.